This is Austin Duma, Application Specialist at CAD Microsolutions, and today's tech tip describes how to manually set the revision number of a file in SOLIDWORKS PDM. SOLIDWORKS PDM users are very familiar with how revisions for files are automatically incremented and maintained within a PDM vault. However, there are a few scenarios where files being managed in PDM may need to have their revision numbers manually updated. A good example of this is when existing files with several revisions already applied are migrated into the vault. In this case, we want PDM to record and match the revision number that is already in the file. Let's see how this can be done. Here I have two identical park drawing combinations that have been added to the vault. These are legacy files and already have the revision of C. This is shown both in the file title block, shown here in eDrawings, and on the file data card inside PDM. I'm now going to move the first set of legacy files through the vault workflow via the no approval required transition. With the drawing and the associated part in the release state, note how the data card is showing revision A. And if I look at the file itself, it also shows revision A. This is further confirmed by looking at the history of the file. This is because the system doesn't recognize the revision value already in the file, thus treating it as a brand new file. As such, when it is pushed through the workflow process and released, it gives the file the first revision in the vault revision scheme. And if we were to send these files through the workflow process again, the next revision assigned would be B. But we want PDM to recognize the existing revision, in this case C, and release it as such. To do this, we need to use the set revision function. Using the second part drawing combination, I'm going to select the drawing, then click Modify, and Set Revision. From the window that appears, I now have the opportunity to set and register the revision to whatever value I want. In this case, I want to match the revision already in the drawing. Notice how the Set Revision function also selected the reference file associated to the drawing. This means I can set the revision of the reference file at the same time. To do this, I select the associated checkbox in the set revision column. Also, note that the new revision to be applied by default is revision A. We want to change this. To do so, click the cell where A is displayed in the new revision column, and a pull-down will appear. Select the entry that matches the entry on the data card, in this case C. And since we want to apply the proper revision value to the reference part file, select revision C for that file as well. This will set the revision of both files to C in the system, but it won't update the data card accordingly. To make sure the data card is also updated, click the checkboxes in the update variable column accordingly. Finally, add a comment as, re as required, and then click OK. Now, if I look at the data card, the file itself and the history the system has now registered the selected revision value as the current revision. This is the same for the part file as well. Now that the revision has been properly set, we can release the file through the workflow process. However, we cannot use the submit for approval or no approval required transitions. This is because those transitions contain actions that will automatically increment the revision to the next value, in this case D. Instead, we are going to use the legacy file released transition, which does not contain those actions. This transition is something the PDM administrator would need to set up in the workflow ahead of time. Now the legacy files are in the release state with the correct revision. Note that if you wish to use or you need transitions that contain the actions that will automatically increment the revision, then make sure to select one revision below the actual revision. This way, when the file is released, it will end up having the desired revision. Finally, some notes on administration of the set revision function. In order for it to work, some items need to be set in the state where the set revision function is going to be used. 
the user or groups using the set revision command need to have the applicable permission set. The permission also needs to be granted at the folder level as well. And the revision scheme being used by the workflow needs to be applied to the state, which includes the variable that is going to be adjusted and the applicable incrementation value. I hope that this has been an informative tech tip on how to use the set revision function to manually update a file's revision number in a PDM vault. Have a great designing day.